Our team coverage continues on whether or not Coach Hurley will leave. We're bringing some more voices into the discussion right now in Los Angeles for us. KCBS sports anchor Darren Hayes joining us. Big UConn fan himself. Uh, thanks for joining us. You spent some time in Connecticut, so I'm just curious. What do you think? Uh, do you we want the personal side or do you want the, 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 the being out here in L.A.? Let's start with the personal, then we'll go to the chatter out west. The, the, the personal side is I hope that Dan Hurley, who my reports have him out here right now as well, that he sees what the Lakers offer and he decides to go back to UConn. Mm. And so we all can be excited in Connecticut. Um, here in, uh, in Los Angeles, though, um, plain and simple, this is a coach that the Lakers absolutely need. I've, I've been to tons of UConn games. I've seen Dan Hurley coach many, many times, talk to Dan Hurley, and He's a guy who holds players accountable. He's a guy who can develop players and make them even better. Um, and obviously, he's a true winner. We know where UConn was at when Dan Hurley was at the University of Rhode Island and what he brought the Huskies back to that championship level. That's exactly what the Lakers need. They kind of swung and, you know, and missed on a lot of head coaches in the past. And Dan Hurley literally checks all the boxes for the Los Angeles Lakers and that's why he's out here and they're making a hard push to try to get him to come out to Los Angeles. You know, Darren, I'm curious uh, about the Lakers itself. I mean, a lot of people who are watching right now might not know the NBA as well as you. If he takes that job, we know the storied franchise, but like what kind of team is he going to inherit if he takes this job? Well, one, he's going to have one of the greatest players to ever play the game on his roster in LeBron James. And you also have a guy like Anthony Davis, who's obviously an all-star himself. Um, but then you have a few younger players. But this is this is a time where the Lakers are looking at this franchise where they know LeBron James is not going to be in the NBA four or five years from now. Um, so so this is an opportunity for the the Lakers to find a coach who can help develop and build the new players that are going to be on this Lakers roster to make them better when LeBron James and his career is over. You know, I'm just curious, Darren, uh, out here, this is the biggest story. Like, this is huge, right? I mean, it leads all of our newscasts. You know, obviously out in L.A., there's Hollywood, there's the Dodgers, too, and a whole bunch of pro sports team. Is it something that people are talking about out there? It is what everybody's talking about. Listen, it is the lead story in my show tonight. It was the lead story in my show last night. Um, one thing about this city, the Los Angeles Lakers runs the city. Dodgers are literally right behind them. Um, so when it comes down to getting the Lakers back to that championship level, and you're talking about a head coach who has won tons of championships, let's, let's be real. Dan Hurley is not just a good college basketball coach. He is a good basketball coach, period. Uh, so... It is what everybody's talking about. It's what sports radio's talking about. Yep. Um, my mother, who's in Woodbridge, Connecticut right now, <laughs> telling me, hey, all everybody's talking about Dan Hurley going into Los Angeles. It is what the country is talking about in regards to the sports fans. It's great. First of all, it's great to connect. Great you have uh, New England ties here in Connecticut. So, Darren, uh, we really appreciate the time. Thank you so much for having me, guys. All right, Darren go Huskies. Hayes. Yeah, go Huskies from KCBS. He is a Husky fan, uh, and he says he's going to stay. So uh, you, this is what you have to say. Many of you voted in our poll. There's still time to cast your vote. It's actually changed a tiny bit since we last checked. We want to know, do you think Hurley should stay or go to the NBA? Right now, 86% say stay. Cause we, that's wishful thinking. You can weigh in on WSFSB.com or, of course, the app.